Hi everybody and welcome to my channel and welcome to a brand new let's play here on my channel. Um, I didn't think I would be doing this right now, but um, I got a little excited trying to play this on my own. So I decided to actually make it a let's play on my channel. And if you couldn't tell by the title, I'll be playing the Not So Berry Challenge. So this came out years ago and a lot of simmers were playing this. I it may have been around the time that I was initially starting my channel and I was like, eh, I'm not ready for that just yet. So the Not So Berry Challenge was actually created by another simmer, a couple other simmers. Um, I know for a fact Lil Simsy and I believe it's another, some other ones. I don't remember the name. I just know mainly Lil Simsy because um, I found it from her Tumblr page. Um, and that's where you can find all the rules and everything, but I kind of read off the bits and pieces the main important parts to you right now um do you like the rainbow do you like the idea of playing the berry with berry sims but hate berry sims do you want to mess around with aspects of the game you've never used before boy do i have a challenge for you welcome to the not so berry legacy challenge a 10 generation legacy with a focus on bright colors and new experience so it's kind of a basic legacy setup where you have you start off with your young adult sim normal legacies don't necessarily pick certain traits or careers that you may have to do unless it's like a particular type of legacy which this is so per generations we have traits and careers and goals that we have to complete and so that's why i wanted to try this legacy challenge and i didn't even introduce myself and i'm sitting there stuttering over things so if you're new to my channel hi my name is makia my channel name is bina fredishay which is simlish for let's play my channel mainly consists of sims for content because it's the game i love to play I usually do challenges and other personal let's play showing off families, current households. I'm a tiny builder. I build every once in a while. So if you are new to my channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and check out the other um, playlists that I have on my channel and just see what I got going for me. <laughs> But um, as you can see, we're on Generation Orange, and that is not where the Not So Berry Challenge starts. Um, technically, it starts with Mint, um, but I wanted to be a little different with this, as I because one, the challenge is, I wouldn't say old, but it's kind of phased out where not everybody's playing it, at least not on YouTube. And I was like, I kind of watched quite a few people play this challenge, honestly, and I've seen the Mint Generation so many times. And I've hardly seen any of the further generations. So I was like, what I want to do is mix up the generations. I kind of just put all the generation colors into a little wheel on the internet and spin and just kind of had it shuffled. I tried to make sure though that the generations like theme and stories kind of still line up with the next generation so that it didn't seem weird because that's how the initial challenge is set up is that each generation kind of makes sense for what happens in the next generation. So I still kind of had to do that. So we are starting on Generation Orange, which I believe is Gen 6 initially. Um, so it is, you're the black sheep of the family, but with orange hair. You were raised in a hectic household. You've always wanted to cause mayhem, but you're just really bad at being evil. You enjoy breaking into your neighbor's houses and eating their food. You really love baking and spend the majority of your spare time eating sweets. Traits are evil, self-assured, and blatant aspiration is public enemy, and the career is criminal. And then you have a certain set of actual rules within that challenge that you have to follow for that generation. And so for gener Generation Orange, we have to master baking and charisma skill, master criminal career, and complete public enemy aspiration, must live in a needs TLC apartment for an entire young adult life, have twins, but only those two children, you may cheat for this because twins are not common in the game, <laughs> um, insist on being evil, claim to be a criminal mastermind, but nobody believes you, not even your own children. So that's where we're starting out. And so we are meeting my lovely orange generation um, founder for my challenge of Not So Berry. And here she is already baking up. We are meeting Saffron Berry. Yes, I was not created with the last name. Hey, I just posted a video about my first legacy challenge and their last name was Legacy. I was trying to be a little, <laughs> I like to be creative, but I can be a little simple at times too. So her name is Saffron. I wanted to be unique with the their, their first names because it is a not so very challenge. And usually when I kind of do quirky things like this, um, I tend to make 
extra unique names for my sims so let's go with this so here's saffron on this lovely wednesday morning we are on day four of 14 of spring it's partly cloudy cool and today's forecast is partly cloudy and we are in san Myshuna's fashion district and i'm gonna go ahead and play because girl is hungry and that's one thing you don't want to do is let glutton sims get hungry she's already here cooking up some food for her to eat it may not be the most nutritious thing to have at lunch but Hey, her thing is I will eat sweets first. <laughs> so once she's finished cooking up, we'll get our day going. But this is her apartment in the fashion district. She lives in, um, I can't remember that. I think it's the, no, these are not Zenview. Zenview are the other apartments. I can't remember the apartment name. It is the um, building with Penny Pizzazz as our neighbor, even though we have not officially introduced ourselves to her. So we might need to go get a little snacky snack from her once we are done making our food. Cause I mean, Glenn Sims are always ready to eat. So it's already been a couple days, cause, well only a few days because like I said, I kind of was initially playing this for my personal time and then decided I kind of want to play this for my channel. Mainly because I hardly ever really play Evil Sims. Okay, we've got the music real loud, sweetie. I feel you on trying to really give in that public enemy uh, stuff, but can we change the volume so I can hear myself? <laughs> All right, you made yourself some lovely peanut butter cookies, so go ahead and grab you a serving. That's not going to fill you up, so we're going to get a little snacky snack from our neighbor who failed to come and introduce herself to us yesterday. We feel highly offended by that, so we're going to go get a little snacky snack from her. <laughs> but like I said, I played a, like two days, so we've already had the welcome wagon and things like that. We have not entered the career, so I definitely want to do that as well in this part. Oh, girl, get your eat on, yas. Okay, you are all done. So let's go ahead and clean this up. Just because we're glutton don't mean we're dirty. And we'll put away our food because we always preserve the goodies. Um, what's cooking? Good looking. It smells great in the hallway. What are you cooking? And can I have some? I'm great company. Um, I don't like sharing my food. That's why I got in a fight with people yesterday because I made some lovely brownies. And y'all came to welcome me. Y'all didn't really do much but eat my brownies. Like, y'all brought fruitcake. Y'all can eat that. You didn't have to take my brownies. But anyway, so I'm going to ignore you because I don't share my food. And I'm going to go visit apartment. All right. So we finally loaded into the apartment that was right next door. But anyway, here we go. Let's knock on the door. And be like, um, she was just in the hallway. Oh, that is disrespectful. Let's go downstairs. I want more food. <laughs> all right so we are down here in the courtyard let's see okay they are open so let's go ahead and order some food we are kind of low on money so i really shouldn't be getting too happy with this but um let's go ahead and order that because that peanut butter um cookie didn't do the job and our neighbor is not at home which is irritating granted i could have went to the guy who decided he wants to have some of my cooking all right, let's get us some of the arts. And I guess while we eat our food, we will join our career. And we can start working on our aspiration. We already kind of almost knocked out the first part. I was about to say, don't you let nobody take your food. We, I mean, we can't fight, but you know, not in the mood for it. <laughs> there we go. Enjoy your food, ma'am. Like, what you looking at? Um, rude introduction. So we can go ahead and we need to work on getting disliked. We already had... A slight tiff with Roxanne, a neighbor. Um, she came and was the first one to go into our brownies and was like, let's lie about our career because we're always going to insist that we are a criminal mastermind. I don't understand why we are just into a cheerful conversation. Since I was rude to you. Start a preposterous rumor. Work on that mischief skill as well. And then throw her an insult, you know. If we get a little hatred going on, because this is real happy right now. We're not happy with her being happy. And talk about money, you know. We that type of materialistic. And because I play with um, Wicked Whim, um, she does get some extra traits. So beyond the traits that come with, that I gave her per the generation, she also has Greedy. Greedy sends focus on generating as much revenue as possible and saving as much capital as possible, no matter the consequences. But their stingy approach to reality makes them appear selfish, envious, and villainous. 
every man. Every man Sims just wants to belong and feel like a part of something. They lack many distinctive identity and rarely stand out. And I love how we glitched out of that. I guess you must feel real proud of yourself, man. You had some lovely food and you got a little mean. It's always a good day when you're mean, aren't we, Miss Saffron? <laughs> All right, so we are good to go. So let's actually go ahead and join our career and become a criminal. All right, like I, oh wait, so we're with the criminal career now. So like I hardly, rarely play this game. This, not game. Whoa, wrong words. <laughs> I hardly ever play this career. I've only played it in my asylum challenge, which I technically really didn't play my the housemates in the asylum were the criminal career but I didn't play them because I can only play one sim in the asylum challenge and then I had in my legacy I had one generation that was in the criminal career but honestly I really didn't do much with it so I kind of want to have a little bit more fun with it and so we're starting out uh, I'm guessing this is probably level one because we hardly have any skills uh, criminal not every sim wants to play by the rules you can make tons of simoleons and have fun too as an outlaw career at ooh, career branches boss and oracle and I clearly don't know words <laughs> now hiring tough gal um, nine dollars an hour and we start 5 p.m. to 12 a.m. And it looks like we work every day of the week. We don't have any days off. What? All right. Saffron is now a tough gal at Mob Wives. She starts Thursday at 5 p.m. Okay. So do we have any work goals that we need to get done? I guess not. That's it. Because what? Let's see. We'll check. Yeah, we are level one. Um, every criminal mastermind needs an entry-level bodyguard with irrational anger issues. <laughs> Saffron will beef up doorways or run through dark alleys. Keep rivals at bay with those three little words. What are you looking at? Next promotion, Petty Thief. All right. So I feel like we probably need to go get a little workout on since we're supposed to be a bodyguard. Let's head over to the gym. All right, girl. Go ahead and punch that bag and get your workout on. She has finally acquired the fitness skill. You're definitely going to need it, I feel like, to be in the criminal career. And here we are at Sky Fitness with my girl Saffron getting her little workout on. We definitely need to work on that skill because we don't know what else we need to do for the. Oh, mis oh now it says mischief interactions, which is perfect because once we get a little practice on the punching bag, we can go try to see if we can get a little bit of anger out on anybody else around. But no one's here and ain't even that late. Okay, everyone's coming in now. But also, we are playing on normal lifespan, and so that means we don't have time to just be lollygagging on working on the next generation. I'm still liking, like, it might be someone from her career that could be, like, the baby daddy or something. You know, we never know. We can figure it out along the way. Or just some random one-night stand, because I feel like for this generation, it didn't say anything about getting married. I feel like Saffron's not going to be the type to want to get married. Like, she's just going to be always wanting to be the criminal. Not saying she won't fall in love. Okay, how you doing, sir? Are you, you um, pepping me up? No. Are you just talking to yourself in the mirror? But you real close in my space. Can I help you? You know, distance. I know we don't need to social distance in The Sims 4, but just on a personal level in any time, you real close and in my space. So... Uh, so now you walk away when I'm done, uh, sir. Sir, what are you doing? Like we don't do that. What you embarrassed about something? I'm about to embarrass you even more. Scare him. Express materialistic thoughts. Even though I feel like I don't know. Uh, be mean to him. Insult him. Yell at him. throw a drink at him like why you all up in my space sir like you smelly and we all in the gym it's in my oh go ahead girl you letting it all out we insult him shove him like we going all out today like sir you was all up in my space you didn't even think to say excuse me nothing are you about politics where you going don't walk away from this sir i'm not done with you oh are you about career? Like, sir, what are you doing? Like, I'm talking to you. Um, sir, don't do that. I don't, I don't even know what his career is, but mine is always superior. That's all I'm saying, sir. 
please win this argument because we don't put up all this buster. <laughs> this is not looking too hot for her though. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that did not end well for sis. I figured we were pushing it too far, but it's all right though. It is what it is. She's in a good mood though, cause she put someone in a negative mood. So let's go ahead and use the bathroom and clean ourselves off cause we feel good. <laughs> cause look, near misery, Evil Sims greatly enjoy reveling in the misery of others. Even though she may have lost the argument, she definitely put homeboy in a bitter mood. So we'll get ourselves ready to take a shower and I think we'll probably head out and check out the sights of San Maishuno. All right guys, so here we are at Planet Honey Pop, very, um, which is the karaoke bar down from where Saffron lives. She's getting herself a little bit of a drink because losing the argument is still kind of in the back of her mind. She's gonna let, you know, let off some steam, ooh, let off some steam at the karaoke bar and get her some drinks. Okay, we're making friends. I mean, I guess we do need some friends, but you know, you do you, sweetie, because I think you just gave her a goofy introduction. So I guess we can be nice to her. Um, uh, tell her a funny story. Is this your favorite drink? Let's see what your gin and tonic. Okay, go ahead. A bold drink choice. I don't know. I don't drink. Don't ask. <laughs> Me and alcohol don't get along very well, so I don't do it very often. <laughs> Go ahead, sis. You gonna take a sip? Cause I feel like you need it. Vampire, can you chill out? You over here just making extra noise. Acquire, you acquire, you just walking away, new friend? Okay, we do need to introduce ourselves and make some, oh, attempt introduction, is he famous? Oh, he's sad. We do want to be mean to someone, so summer holiday, uh, this rude introduction, like I didn't really wanna talk to you. You just came over, introduced yourself to me. Like, that's not how this goes. You don't come to me. I talk to you first. Ma'am, no, no, no. Don't scream. Don't scream. Did it go well? I'm guessing it did. Because we glitched out of everything else. Oh. Acclaim adoration. Wait, do you fight in the track before? I mean, not that it really matters. He's a celebrity acquaintance and he's perceived as basic looking. Okay. You got some hard taste there, ma'am. But I mean, ask about his interest. That don't mean nothing. He can give you some money. We are low on funds. I mean, if we can get a celebrity friend that wouldn't mind giving us a little money on the side. Oh, he doesn't seem to be too perceptive about that. Bro, I can hate you too. Well, look. You're overrated, cause you're not even trying to play with me, sir. Like, yell at him. We can make an enemy out of a celebrity. I don't care. So rude. Okay, a sound homeboy. Watch karaoke, cause homeboys sound good over here. And the mixologist seems to be on a break, cause she just walked away from the bar. That's how we do on the job. Oh, this is our neighbor, Miko. She don't like us either. Yeah, our neighbors didn't appreciate us too much because we kind of started yelling at them for, um, sing a solo. Let's sing some house weekender, even though it's Thursday. Um, because she started yelling at people because they were eating her brownies. Like I said, Saffron don't play about her sweets. You can't just be eating her brownies that she worked hard on to make. Can you go away, sir? Thank you. <laughs> No, 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 go away. I know I sound good, but go away. No, she really don't sound all that great, but she gonna go off, go off, Saffron, go off. You did that, girl. Look, she said, nailed it from singing karaoke poorly. Some people just don't understand raw talent when they see it. I know, girl. You was awesome. Ain't nobody paying attention to you. You singing it again. <laughs> we gonna go for some pop this time. Fool's prayer. Like, y'all playing. Oh, and I guess your drink was good. Two smooth sippings. Great acoustics. Right. Go ahead, girl. Let it up. Up. 
nobody's really watching this great performance. Y'all don't hear sound. <laughs> I can't even get it out right. <laughs> Y'all don't hear how wonderful my girl sounds. Yes. Oh, am I getting a fan? Where you at? Where my fan at? Oh, you passed out for me? Oh, you're the best. I'll give you autograph, I promise. I'm not that famous yet, but I'll give you autograph anyway. Anybody cute out there? Cause like I said, we plan a normal lifespan. Young adult will end very quickly. <laughs> Oh, boo. No one stayed. It's all right. Oh, hey. Uh, let's do a friendly introduction to our fan. Like, she passed out during a performance. Like, she was so excited to see us perform. Where is she going? Did she leave? Oh, no. Fan. Like, I know. I was sounding so good, wasn't I? Like, you really are excited to see me. I can't believe I have a fan already. I've only performed once. Why are you sad? <laughs> Flaunt about your wealth that you don't have. Give her a pep talk. I'm enthused about fruitcake. I don't understand why you like fruitcake, but you know, whatever floats your boat. Oh, she must be good. Uh, enthused about your interest. We won't dismiss her goodness just yet. You know, tell a joke about engineers. Try to make a friend out of our fan. And talk about money with her. Like, do you have any? Because you know, you're my first fan. And I need all the support I can get. Get to know your fan a little bit. Um, ask her how her day is going. See, look, we put our fan in a better mood. Gossip with her. Oh, look at us. I think we're like entertaining the entire crowd. Look at us. We getting little fans everywhere. We feeling so full of ourselves after our little singing session. And talk about money again, like, I'm for real. Like, you got money? Ask her career, like, where do you work? Tell her a dramatic story, you know? If you want to just hand me some money. Ooh, you make drinks. I love drinking. Instill her with some false confidence. And then... Lie about your career. You know, fan don't need to know every single detail about you. And I love how it keeps glitching out of that. So we just gonna go home because Saffron's getting hungry. <laughs> and I'll meet you guys back at home. Oh, it must be cold outside. All right, guys. So it is the next morning. My old girl's brushing her teeth. And it looks like we lost power because of issues. Like, really? Complain to landlord. It, like, we just moved in. We haven't even been here a full week. And we already got problems. So let's call our landlord and see if we can get this taken care of. You and I haven't always gotten along, but maybe we can become friends. What do you say to lunch at a ramen restaurant? I mean, Saffron's always down for food. See, that's the issue. She may fight with you, but you if you offer her some food, she gonna be ready to go. We gonna go, it's food. All right, guys, so here we are at the ramen restaurant. Sir, like, I mean, if this is how you apologize, you bring me all the way to Mount Komorebi, like, I mean, I can't be too upset. So technically, this is gonna make charge Saffron for the money. I'm gonna put that money back because that's not how this works. <laughs> uh, let's see, what are we gonna get? Um, We can do, I guess we can go with what the chef is offering. Let's see, Uh, no, but I want ramen though, like, me on a personal level, like me as a person, for real, not as a sim, I, I want some ramen. But ooh, I love me some sushi too, though. Ooh, that's a hard choice. No, I probably would still go with ramen. Anyway, <laughs> let's see, what should I get, my girl? Uh, Nagiri can go for homeboy. He can get the chef, chef's choice. But my girl is definitely going to get her some lovely ramen. Let's see. Um, it's a lot of options on here. Let's go with some seaweed ramen. We'll get that. I mean, it's not more expensive than his options. I hope I got both of them drinks. I don't think I got her drink. No, I did. I hope I did. 
<laughs> we'll figure it out. Anyway, she gonna order and get all her money's worth out of Chauncey. Yes, he don't like us. I guess we should talk to him. We not really here to talk to him. We really here for the food. Where you going, sir? All right, look. Staff one, like, you can walk through the table. I'm gonna get my order in. Like I said, I don't play about my food. <laughs> Thank you. We'll bring your order out as soon as it's ready. Thank you. Where is Mr. Sir? Did he leave? Oh, no, I was about to say, like, sir, you're supposed to be apologizing to me. You're not even sitting at the table. All right, he's finally back at the table. Did you go and buy me something from the vending machine? Um, Ask him about his day. We'll at least try to have a conversation. Ooh, food is here already. Perfect. Yes. I don't have to play. <gasps> Did it not take my ramen? Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. I want ramen. It, <laughs> I felt like something was off. No, I want my ramen. <laughs> Like, he's supposed to be apologizing for food. Yeah, you can enjoy your food. We're not going to apologize because that's not the type of person we are. We're asking him about his career just to see what he does. Like, yes, I guess you didn't hear me. I want ramen. Seaweed ramen, please. Thank you. All right. Ask his career. Let's see. Oh, he's an open mic seeker. Ask if he's single. Because, I mean, like I said, we play in a normal lifespan. We need to not play about these kids and having the next generation. <laughs> so let's see what he's doing. Discuss interest with him. Oh, you married. Okay, sorry then. Um, we'll keep this straight kosher because I'm not trying to get into that type of trouble. I mean, she is evil, so she probably technically wouldn't care. Let me know in the comments down below. Should Saffron be a homewrecker or should she just leave it be? I'm really waiting on her ramen. Because I really want my girl to be. She is hungry. She's trying to be nice and not be mad. Because you know, Saffron and hungry is not a good mixture. Let's be a little mischief with him. We'll lie about our career since we asked about his. He doesn't need to know the real thing. Um, instill false confidence with him. I mean, if we can get a friend... Uh, and then start a preposterous rumor. Like I say, we don't have to be cool with him. So is this my ramen, please? And thank you. If you can get the plates out of my way, it'll be lovely too. So we're going to eat our food as well and not worry about homeboy because he doesn't seem to be feeling us, which is cool. It is what it is. But guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end off this lovely first part of my not so very Generation Orange challenge. I hope you enjoyed this first part. It's probably a little bit all over the place, but it kind of is when you get started out on LPs. So, oh, and we got working an hour. So we definitely need to get our food in. So if you enjoyed this part, please go ahead and leave your comments and suggestions down below. Hit that like button because you, where are you going? Oh, you want to work already? I didn't even see. <laughs> Let me stop here. We definitely not gonna be paying. We gonna get that money back, right? She's like, eat and run. <laughs> like I said, if you enjoyed this part, please go ahead and leave your comments and suggestions down below. Hit that like button because you know you want to. Subscribe if you haven't, and hit that bell button so you get notified every time I upload a video. And until next time, guys. Bye.